Hello everybody and welcome back. I am making a cutting board. This is my Let's Resin uh, cutting board uh, silicone mold. Uh, link will be down in the description as well as my uh, discount code for Let's Resin. And it's going to be kind of simple, you know. Um, nothing too terribly exciting, just a, a couple of colors. This is actually going to be for our kitchen because the cutting board that we have is warped and gross and uh, I'm going to make a new one. So just getting my gloves on here real quick. Normally I don't have a problem with resin. I'm not allergic to it or anything like that. I've never had a reaction to it. Um, but I know some folks worry about me when I don't wear gloves so I will put them on. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to mix up one of my favorite colors because I just want to. And this is my May Spring uh, Mica Powder in Green Pyromorphite. It's absolutely stunning green color. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I don't exactly know how much resin this is going to take. Um, it doesn't say on the mold like it normally does. Um, so uh, I've just mixed up six ounces to start off with, and I am just going to add a scoop here of my pyromorphite. And I've just got it in here. I've got about two ounces of resin. And this just goes this beautiful, just shimmery, stunning green color. I just love it. So like I said, it's going to be pretty, pretty kind of, you know, standard, regular pour. So I'm just going to stick that right there for now. I'm going to get another two ounces or so or so. You can see my incredibly accurate measuring system here, uh, about an ounce and a half. And I am going to do white chalcedony. And this is uh, basically a an interference sort of an interference gold uh, by May Spring. So let me get another little spoon. There we go. And these uh, mica powders are in their gemstones collection set. Uh, again, I'll put a link for it down below because they are absolutely gorgeous colors greens and turquoises and purples and yeah it's just they're they're just gorgeous just gorgeous and they're very fine so they mix in with uh resin exceptionally well i've always been very 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 happy with them so just make sure that I don't have any little nibbly bits. All right, so I'm going to move those off. And basically, all I'm going to do, I don't mind having my powder in there. I just don't want it to pool. You know what I mean? What I'm going to do is go in with my clear and just lay that down and this resin is food safe after it is totally cured so I don't feel dodgy about using it um, as a cutting board in my kitchen um, it is heat safe um, up to you know 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius so you can put very hot things on it the only thing um, is that resin scratches really easily if you use knives on it. Um, but the beauty of having a cutting board mold is if this one gets all scratched up and yucky, I can make another. 
so that is the good part. All right, so there's my clear. So I'm just going to go in with my green and get that in there. And I don't need the board to be super thick, you know, because it's just, it's a cutting board. Um, so it's just got to be thick enough to, to cut stuff on, but it doesn't have to be super thick. Move my powders out of the way so I can get to my messy mat. And now for the white chalcedony. So there's those. Now I am going to add a little bit more clear, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got about two more ounces here, so let's see how that does. Again, I don't know how much this mold is supposed to take. So let's just pour it in. And see how far that pushes out once it self-levels. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need even more. Okay, be right back. All right, so we got another two ounces here. like that's just going to about do it for about halfway up the mold. So, so what was that? Six, two, two, so 10 ounces. So this probably takes about 20 ounces of resin, maybe 18. looks like an avocado. I feel like I should put like a, a brown spot in the middle to make it look like an avocado. <laughs> Let me get rid of my trash here. Clean off my sticks. Give that a minute to settle before I torch it. So we're just going to let that settle. Enjoy the time lapse. Watch out for her dark side. Yeah, she got some sharp eyes. See her for the first time. Never let her out my sight. I just want to stay up. Look at you all made up. 
Dirty thoughts are seeping to my mind, I can't wait up Ooh, she was so good, got me straight in the mood She read that room, she know just what to do Moving that body, she dancing and shaking It's making them crazy, she know how to move She said she's ready to party Let's get it started Tequila straight out the bottle She looks so good when she's sipping a model I can't get enough I need you I think this is lust Not love Cause everything that we touch Gives us a rush And everything that we taste Feels like a drug It is time to demold, so let's get this out of here. It is still a tiny bit soft, but it is cured. So, pardon the fan in the background, please. It's warm in here. All right, so flip this little guy over. See what we got. Ah, look! It looks like a dragon eye. How cool is that? That's really wicked cool. Looks like dragon scales. With an eye in the middle. That's really cool. And then the back looks like a dragicado. <laughs> this is very cool. I like the way that this turned out. So this is going to be a neat uh, addition to um, to my kitchen. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. And I will see you for the next one. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>